You remember that Cardinal Muller released his manifesto of faith. He went through point by point the doctrines that we Catholics hold to. And as we move into this Amazon Synod, I've been talking a lot about it, uh, we are reminded that we must reaffirm the Catholic faith. Everything in the Apostles' Creed, everything in the Nicene Creed, all the councils, everything taught by the Catholic Church throughout time. And Moeller kind of capsulized all that. And I'm here today with two men that you probably know already. This is Stephen and Richard Payne. They're responsible for the Wolf in Sheep's Clothing documentary that you probably saw on EWTN. And they've put together a really stunning, beautiful, short video that has contained in it the text of Cardinal Muller's Manifesto of Faith, accompanied with the visuals that remind you what it is to be Catholic. So today I welcome Stephen and Richard Payne. How are you, fellas? Great, great. to see you, man. Good to be here. Thanks. Thank you for having us. Yeah, you guys have done a lot of great work. People probably uh, know you already, or if they don't know your faces, they know your name associated with the Wolf and Sheep's Clothing documentary that's that's aired for a while now on EWTM. Yeah, it's yes. uh, three years ago this uh, past month, September yeah, 21st in 2016 is when it uh, debuted and uh, right in the middle of the election. And wow. They turned it into a series. So we're working on the second one mm -hmm. to be announced. Wonderful. And will that, yeah. will that appear on EWTN? It will, yep. yes. Okay. Yep. That's yeah. the plan. Good. So you guys have been making film and you've got this new project and it debuts today. So no one's seen it yet. I've seen it, but no one else in the world's seen it. And it comes out at noon and we're going to try to push people to go to go watch that film at its opening today. Uh, and we're going to show the video trailer in, in just a moment. But why don't one or both of you sort of explain what the goal is on this film project? To well, teach it's the faith. That's basically it. Yeah. It's to communicate the the uh, the basic tenets of our faith in a time of terrible confusion. Uh, we see all kinds of things happening in light of this Amazonian synod and other things. So people are not getting the basic truth, and so we felt that we need uh, uh, good friends of ours introduced us to the idea of doing this uh, last February and. Uh, and we prayed about it and said, well, uh, doing a short film sounds good to us. This is a great opportunity to, to teach the faith through visual language, as well as that great text that Cardinal Muller uh, wrote. And in a sense, it's an opportunity to mirror that proclamation of the gospel that Jesus left to his, uh, to his apostles that, uh, in some sense ended with the death of the last apostle. That uh, essence, what they called the kerygma, or the good news, uh, the proclamation of the real life uh, that leads to happiness, the abundance of life. Yeah. You know, as I was watching it the first time, of course, Richard, I heard your voice. You have a great documentary voice. And Thank it's, you. It's, it's appropriate because I think most people who follow, uh, you know, the Amazon Synod, the crisis, they're following Pope Francis, Amoris, all the things, you know, people who watch my channel here on YouTube or listen to it on iTunes or Spotify or Stitcher or whatever. Uh, maybe they followed it. Maybe they watched the show I did on on the Manifesto of Faith with Mueller, but they probably sadly didn't read it. I read yeah. it. It's, a, it's yeah. an amazing uh, consensus, a summary, a summa of mm -hmm. our faith and it's it's not that long and what what y'all have done is is great because we live in a modern time people are visual right they're with their eyes they, mm -hmm. they use their ears they're not so much readers anymore sadly and so what y'all have done is you've taken the text and what you've done is you've colored it in yes. and you've That's... taken the beauty of the catholic faith i mean our faith is so beautiful mm -hmm. our exactly. tradition no. our art our architecture uh, all of these things, you've taken beautiful, beautiful cinematography, music, drama, and you've illustrated what, you know, Cardinal Muller wrote on a piece of paper or typed into his keyboard. And, and so you've made it accessible now, I think, to thousands, hopefully millions of people. 
please God. You know, that's exactly yeah. the motivation behind it. And that uh, yeah. it's uh, it requires uh, we felt an anointing on this uh, early on from the, the moment that we were introduced with the idea and uh, and we prayed about it and then moved. And um, it took us, uh, you know, we spent a good six months just uh, really uh you know, sharpening it and, and getting it, trying to get it right. We actually were still in production last week on it, but uh, it's now completely done and ready to roll. In some sense, it's our inspiration comes from when we walked together into Chart Cathedral, mm. you know, mm. and saw the light coming through those incredible windows, which were a, a catechesis for uh, for the faithful at that time. But, and uh, that structure architecturally that tells you, you know, that you have a soul. And uh, so we see the cinematic language as an extension of that. We have uh, a long way to go where, you know, it's our work is so s simple, but it, uh, it is uh, that that is the ultimate vision that kind of stands before us. Yeah. We, we use what we have, you know. That's a uh, word. We're definitely not a uh, uh, an overly funded group, so <laughs> yeah. we we've got uh, we've got what we have as uh, as our great enemy. Use what you have, uh, uh, Saul Alinsky uh, used yeah. to say. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting too. And we're going to run it in just a minute here, but you know, mm -hmm. I noticed that in the selections that you used, that you know, there wasn't sort of this drab pedestrian. Uh, for lack of a better word, Novus Ordo Catholic round churches and and exactly. uh, plywood altars. You guys really honed in on the best of the best. Like Richard, you mentioned mm -hmm. Shark Cathedral. This is a Shark Cathedral film, right? It's it's the light, exactly. it's the beauty, it's the best oh, that yeah. we have. This to is offer. that is uh, true, and that uh, quality of excellence, which was uh, so basic to the medieval guilds, you know, and that uh, that we need to rediscover that. We so badly need uh, a Catholic uh, a film school that uh, uh, where that sense of uh, of the sacred, of the supernatural infusing the natural would be uh, the 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 structure, if you will, the the eye uh, of uh, of making films. We don't have that now. So we have the we have that te beautiful text written by Cardinal Muller. But with film, we're able to, uh, as Catholics, we have a you know it's uh, I think the be Catholics make the best filmmakers because they see things uh, with a sacramental imagination because our whole faith yes. is, uh, a profession of this, an action of this on the altar, the consecration of the, the body and blood, uh, soul and divinity of Jesus. And, and so we, um, uh, with this, we're able to, uh, speak at multiple levels of meaning, like, uh, like the fourfold sense of scripture in a sense, uh, you know, the literal, the, uh, the allegorical or symbolic, the moral, uh, called tropology, and the anagogical, the divine, the yes. the great mystery. So hopefully we did it right and and good that uh, so that it does it, it's effective in that way. So, yeah. well, Gil, y'all want to run it? Wanna sure, it? sounds okay. sounds great. Yeah. Let's I don't, go. I, you won't see it on your side, but everybody watching is going to see it over on this side. So here we go. This is the the manifesto of faith. Cardinal Muller, and it has been uh, enhanced uh, by Richard and Stephen Payne. They've they've added the cinematography, and as you watch it, you, you'll hear Richard's voice, but then you'll see as the words go through how they've matched everything up and amplified it. So here we are. We're running the Manifesto Faith teaser trailer. Here it goes.
fantastic. Thank fantastic. you. You know, you, you, there's a shot there of Cardinal Moeller. Has he seen this? I'm sure he's had to have seen this already, right? Yes, he has. Yes. He's seen it, and uh, his, his staff has seen it, and they he called it magnificent. Good, good. And was he invol involved at all in the production, consulted, or did he just see the final? We let him know early on, and we received a beautiful uh, letter, and then we went about our work, and uh, when it was finished, we, we shared it with him, and uh, he had a couple comments, and and now he wants to use it uh, at uh, many of his speaking engagements around the oh, world. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If someone made so, something that beautiful of something. In wrote. fact, he, he plans to use it out in uh, Denver for the priest conference okay. uh, that's coming up later this month. In uh, Yeah, later October, yeah. yeah. Great, great. Now, what you everybody watching, what you just saw there, that was just sort of some of the sampling of the videos, but... When you watch the Manifesto of Faith, uh, which you'll be able to see at manifestooffaith.com, you'll hear the text. So it looks like that, but you'll hear the text of Cardinal Muller's Manifesto of Faith, which is really, I mean, I guess, would you guys call it a catechism? What would you call the Manifesto of Faith? Oh, yeah. This is a perfect opportunity to re-catechize uh, Catholics in what we believe. And uh, I think it, it's, a, it's really designed that way it's main it's hopefully going to be used that way it's, and we have a whole plan on the website yeah. for people to have uh you know home viewing parties or mm -hmm. parish based viewing parties and to have q and a's uh, and 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 give people direction on that and to become evangelizers with this as a tool the structure of it is is really well done because you know he begins with god and uh continues with the exposition of the church and uh, then you have the sacraments and the morality and the then the goal, the eternal life, happiness here and eternally. And uh, then the call to live that life uh, t through Jesus, uh, uh, but ultimate, but through his mother to Jesus, if you will, and that. Uh, it's 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 beautifully constructed in a world like ours that has so fragmented and uh, is so caught in naturalism and uh, the uh, all of the the uh, uh, the secularity that has invaded and us and taken us away from that period in the Middle Ages spiritually that where. Uh, there was an order, and I always love to hear you talk about Thomas Aquinas, who uh, is my hero too, uh, along with Bonaventure. And those two men, uh, uh, they uh, they were deep friends, and they explored the the deep meanings of uh, the mystery of God and the mystery of the natural world, and. Um, they uh, uh, they're just wonderful. I I remember the the story. They were both asked to write the original liturgy of Corpus Christi. Here's the source and summit of the church's life, you know. And uh, they both went away and uh, uh, wrote their texts. And uh, they came back. Uh, the Pope who had authorized them to do their they met in the little church of St. Dominic in Orvieto. And uh, uh, they stood there and the uh, Pope raised his hand for them to begin. And uh, Bonaventure stepped back and asked Aquinas to go first. And uh, Aquinas, uh, he stepped back then again as Aquinas started to read. And it's the people who saw this saw uh, Bonaventure as Aquinas read his text, one of the most beautiful texts ever in the history of the liturgy. Uh, he began to cry, Bonaventure cried. And then people heard the sound, a ripping sound behind him as he tore up his own text. And um, it, it uh, reflected the, the first and major step in the spiritual life, uh, the one of, uh, uh, of humility. And, but his wisdom uh, 
and his his love uh, uh, sort of was a backdrop for this immense giant of reason and truth. Yeah, you know, Richard, I've always want, I've always wished, you know, maybe when I get to heaven, God willing, I want to see what Bonaventure wrote. I want to oh, see. Oh, me too. Me too. I keep saying that myself. I mean, if, I'd like, I mean, it was at love at least an A minus. You know, it was at oh, least yeah. an A minus, yeah. if not an A. Right? <laughs> maybe Thomas was A plus. Bonaventure was A. At least A minus. But the yeah. that, that beautiful humility. I mean, mm-hmm. can we ever use a big dose of that right now right. in the church? Mm-hmm. I mean, that that is that is a testimony to the importance of self renunciation and and uh, and following the spirit and and uh, and not making it about me. You yeah. know, you know what's neat about that story, Richard, is that uh, you know we think of Thomas Aquinas as a scholar as a theologian, as a philosopher. Some of us who know him, know him as a mystic. Yes, he was. But yes. we don't often think of Thomas as an artist. Mm. That's right. And in fact, he was, because yeah. he composed this great liturgy, which is poetic. It's music. Mm. It's a poem. Absolutely. And, and that shows that that Thomas, in a way, can be a, a patron of what you guys are doing in Manifesto Faith, which is yes. theology, catechesis, apologetics, which is what Mueller's done in this manifesto, and then the beauty of the art, the drama, the poetry. And so, you know, I think both Bonaventure and Thomas uh, could easily be patrons of this project and others. Amen. Oh, yes. boy. You couldn't it's, have two better, I tell yeah. you. It's, uh, it's interesting. I, uh, I'm old enough to have studied theology at a time when uh, it was taught in Latin, and uh, the uh, the sound of Latin, uh, when it's properly pronounced, uh, is is a music, and there's a kind of liaison, as they say in French, or cadence, too, that uh, is so wonderful. And it, it no wonder we had uh, all of these great forms of chant of Saint. Uh, you know, Ambrose and the Gregorian chant and all of this that uh, uh, that took the great uh, words uh, of the church and and uh, presented them as glory, because that's what the people, the people need that sense of going from glory to glory, which is the the Latin mass is is uh, is such a reflection of that you know we uh, as a family we travel over an hour to get to a lat mass every sunday in it and uh, you see the young people the sense of wonder that uh, is uh, returning to the faces of these people uh, just having that opportunity well we got to the first cut of this film and uh, i had a bunch of stock shots of uh, Novus Ordo and uh, so uh, I just said I got to get better shots of the of the liturgy and so we reached out and got a great cinematographer who was uh, who was actually shooting uh, the Latin Mass at the time we were making this film and uh, so he contributed so every shot is is of the sacred liturgy. Yeah. Uh, we want to do a series just on the mass, helping on the Latin mass so that they, people can enter into the mystery uh, and uh, begin to understand uh, yeah. uh, every movement and gesture and the, the nature of, uh, of the music that uh, encircles it and to have the very best. Uh, that is uh, is really helpful, especially having been, you know, it's been a long way since 1969. Yeah, so, fly fly 8K cameras on lines yeah, throughout yeah. the church. Oh boy, I tell you, it just yeah, be great, be, uh, be wonderful, be yeah. wonderful. Yeah, what, my two favorite shots just in the the teaser we watched. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really like that that Byzantine baptism of the baby. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Shots. isn't that oh, wonderful? Is. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. For, you really for some reason, that. I also really liked the there was the a a dish with the two wedding rings on it with a little bit of oh. holy water on it. Yeah, yeah. It's another great one. Another Eastern Rite tradition, you know, mm-hmm. that uh, that we wanted to have that kind of sense of unity. That uh, yeah, of the beautiful. Uh, uh, 
symbolic images of the reality of the the sacraments, the supernatural reality of these sacraments. Yeah, Can't yeah. go anywhere else. We, this film is made to, to help people realize you can't leave. There's no other place to go. We have the, we have the supernatural sacrament, the reality of the sacraments that is nowhere else in, the, in any other church. Right. Yeah, and the, the way the supernatural light shines in, uh, with a sense of the sacred is it shines on the natural world. The natural world, uh, you, one begins to see how, how beautiful it is in a world where that has been overwhelmed by attacks uh, of classically Gnosticism uh, that sees the natural world as, uh, uh, as illusory or corrupt and uh, with uh, doses of the Protestant uh, Calvinist attitude again that, uh, of uh, the natural world being uh, demeaned in a sense that uh, we need to recover f that philosophy of the natural law and a sense of the contemplation of the beauty of nature that leads us uh, in our ascent to the Lord, you know, and because it's a work of his hands. And, uh, you know, with all of the so-called environmentalism that seems to uh, lack that uh, uh, gratitude for uh, for the glory of the natural world and uh, th this I I hope uh, will will be a movement within the church to uh, recover the na that sense of nature and nature's laws which is written right into the uh, you know the declaration of independence of this country you know I to go back to Thomas Aquinas and Bonaventure, which I know we want to keep doing because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, Thomas, you know, writes, he's a student of Albert the Great. Yes. And Albert the Great was a natural scientist. You know, he was studying absolutely. biology and botany and, you know, astronomy. And he he was the true Renaissance man. And it's, it's no accident that his greatest student would be St. Thomas Aquinas, who who takes all the amazement and the wonder of nature and then synthesizes it into a summa, yeah. supernaturalizes yeah. it, and, you, of course, you know, so... expounds on natural law. But but, but to parallel off of, you know, Thomas and his, his friend Bonaventure, Bonaventure is a Franciscan. He's not a Dominican. And yep. so he's in this authentic, I would, I would say not a corrupted, but an authentic tradition of wonder of nature, absolutely of creation that oh, St. Francis yes. just, I mean, he expressed it so perfectly and so beautifully. So it's, I don't think it's an accident that our two greatest theologians, Bonaventure and Thomas are both, both in a way sat at the feet of, of two great minds, two great theologians. Francis of course was not a, an academic, you know, he's a great theologian because he's a saint, but he wasn't in the schools of Paris, and yet right. he gifted to Bonaventure that sense of wonder. And then Albert the Great was an academic and a yes. natural scientist, and he also gifted that. And so I, I think that there's, you know, grace builds on nature, and you have these two great theologians who are based in a wonder of nature. Not and See, here's the problem. Today we have wonder of nature, period. For Bonaventure and Thomas, it was wonder of nature that lifted the eyes to the creator of creation to the creator exactly right exactly. now as we move into the exactly. amazonian synod i fear that it's wow a wonder of creation period mm -hmm. without yeah. the reference to the creator and that's what i think yeah. cardinal moore is doing it. here maybe we the, can talk a little bit about yeah is it an actually they, re <laughs> yeah. they actually reference pagan realities so it's precisely it's, it's yes. absolutely demonic. Yeah, exactly. you know. So that's, and thus pantheism. Yeah, you pantheism. Know. So I mean, yeah. is did it just so happen that you guys decided to release this film on October first, a week or days before the Amazon Synod? How does this all fit together? It, As it, they it, say in French, providence. That's it. Yeah, but we didn't think about it. it. Just happened to come, but but it was the uh, Mary's month. It was and, like uh, it was. 
Yeah, it's, it was kind of like the way this, the uh, the wolf in sheep's clothing worked out when it was released right in the middle of the election season. We started this not thinking about that. And as it got closer and closer and we started to get it done, we realized, wow, it would be good to, to release it at that time where, where there's so much confusion being pumped out. I'd like to go back to your point of Albert and Thomas. Uh, 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 beginning in 1975, I uh, was the editor in chief of developing the classics of Western spirituality, which was mm -hmm. at a time then where everyone was moving into renewal. My heart was in restoration, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it seemed uh, I d developed the bo the volume on Thomas with Albert, together with Albert, in order to. Uh, to let people see how uh, in the greatness of what they are, I gave the church these wonderful theologians who, who did theology on their knees, as they say, um, were uh, drew, drew from, uh, from one to the other, that passing on of the faith in that way. And um, so I turned people to that volume to get it, and also the volume of Bonaventure. It has three magnificent works in it. Uh, the uh, Soul's Journey into God, uh, the Tree of Life, and the Life of Francis. Because Bonaventure was the articulator, really, of Francis at a time when uh, the the uh, order had split with this crazy Franciscan spiritualist that uh, took it in one way, and he restored the community. And uh, he told the the when he you see this the life of a saint told through the eyes of another saint. It's hard to beat that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's. I think a lot of people when we talk about Bonaventure, they kind of think of him as oh, he's the second place to Thomas. And I I think it's better to to look at them as Bonaventure is the Franciscan lens, and Thomas is the Dominican lens. Exactly, mm -hmm. absolutely. And they're they united. were so true to their charism mm -hmm. in each case. You know, the founding grace. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Well, there's there's a, about twice as or almost yeah over twice as many people are now watching us, uh, and I think maybe we should we should run the the teaser again. Okay. There's people coming okay. in like I want to see it, right? <laughs> we ran it. <laughs> this the first... is the world. This is the world premiere of the <laughs> teaser trailer right yeah, here right. on uh, on and your then, show. And, so. and then before I run it, uh, Stephen, can you tell them when this is all going down? It's going down pretty sure. soon. The, the, Within... the full version. Half hour from now yes. at uh, www.manifestooffaith.com. Uh, the film will go live, free to watch for everybody and anybody. Uh, so again, www.manifestooffaith.com. Uh, we'll be offering DVDs. People can you know, purchase DVDs of the film, uh, hold uh, home viewing parties, uh, you know, catechize with the film. Uh, we have a whole plan that, uh, of action that people can go to on the website. So that website will be live at noon Eastern today. Excellent, which is in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So I've got it on the screen for everybody to see <laughs> manifestooffaith.com. That's where it's going to premiere in 30 minutes, right? Yep, that's okay, it. Very good. Well, let's uh, let's show the teaser trailer again. Let people get some some because uh, a lot of new people, I said, have, have joined us on this live stream, and they're they're saying, "Well, I want to see it." We showed it, so we'll show it again. Now you're going to see the teaser and the full version, which I've seen, is is just as beautiful. It looks just like what you're about to see, but it has Richard reading the text. It's the full text, right, Richard? Absolutely yes, it is. verbatim. Yeah. Nothing left out. Right. The full text of Cardinal Moeller's Manifesto of Faith. So let's go ahead and, and watch this teaser again. And here it goes.
Stephen Rich. I wish y'all could have seen the comments from the people on the live stream. They they love it. They say it's beautiful. Oh. It's full of all holiness. Thank you. Can't wait to watch it. I'm going to get a yes, copy sir. for Christmas. <laughs> great. It's lots great. of awesome. Just lots of great comments from, from people who are live right Thank now on you. the live stream. So Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I think this is going to be really Thank good. You. And, and uh, again, in, in just 27 minutes, uh, you can watch the whole thing. How long is it? I, I can't remember. 22 minutes, exactly. Okay. 22 mm -hmm. minutes. So, uh, again, it's the full text of Cardinal Mueller's Manifesto of Faith. It's read by uh, Richard. Of course, Richard is, is Stephen's father, as you can tell. He's a oh, chief, I, chief talent. I thought too. they'd think oh. of him as the father and me as the son, <laughs> even at 81 years old. This is an old routine. <laughs> and Stephen, yeah. you just had a baby. I did. Yeah. Brand I did uh, in June. And oh boy, she's wonderful. Uh, great. Mar Mary Olivia Ann. And uh, we named her. There's a tradition in our family. My mother died in 2013 of complications due to Parkinson's disease. And her name was uh, Mary Patricia Ann, and my sister, Laura, is Mary Laura Ann. So we continued that French-Canadian tradition mm -hmm. of, yeah. uh, of Mary Olivia Ann. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, God bless. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, she's wonderful. Yeah. Keep me up. Keep me on my toes. Yeah, the, uh, that, uh, the this whole sense of the Manifesto of Faith uh, begins uh, in such a beautiful way uh, that brings together uh, the uh, both uh, saints Aquinas and and Bonaventure. It begins with the the Blessed Trinity, mm -hmm. and uh, it's interesting uh, that that re the reality of the uh, of the supernatural life. Uh, is a manifestation of that, you know, in the the, the the virtues, the supernatural virtues of faith, hope, and charity, which reflect that triple way. And, um, uh, you know, you, you get the sense uh, with Cardinal Muller that he, he has um, this uh, fullness of, of the faith, it's no wonder that uh, uh, Pope, uh, you know, uh, the the Pope Benedict the Sixteenth chose him uh, to be the the master of the dicastery on on the faith, because he has a, a beautiful command of uh, of the reality of the divine life and um, uh, how in that sense you uh, uh, we we bring people to what we call the trivium the 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 basic structure that used to be uh, fundamental to all of Catholic education and unfortunately we lost uh, touch with that the grammar logic and rhetoric the uh, uh, grammar the the word, the language, uh, logic, our ability to uh, to think logically uh, and rhetoric, uh, how to persuade, the art of that we need so badly today in terms of the bringing people back to the fullness of faith to persuade, and uh, that uh, is. Uh, you know, when uh, you look at the illuminations of that 13th century on the trivium, they have Mary uh, is in the setting of the pictures of the Trinity uh, as the daughter of God the Father and the mother of God the Son and the spouse of the Holy Spirit. And so she is uh, the way God comes to us and the way we return to him, uh, the fullness of the Trinity. And that is, uh, in, in a sense, the, the beginning and the end of, uh, of the Manifesto of Faith, uh, uh, the, which, which happens through grace, the mediatrix. And Mary is the mediatrix of all grace. Yes, amen to that. 
and it's it's appropriate too. I think that that Mueller doesn't does include Our Lady. Oh, yeah. And I also I also appreciate as people watch the film, you know, he also, you know, he brings in the morality and the ethics as as sort of a, a, a natural conclusion Absolutely. from the life of the seven sacraments. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. And integrated. that's the, the foundation of, of it all. And but the, the principle of sacrifice uh, that is so fundamental to the moral life and that, uh, you know, deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me, the, mm -hmm. That that denial is somehow kind of gotten lost yeah. in our contemporary world, and that uh, is uh, is so fundamental to return to the ascetical uh, life, uh, and uh, that's why these two great uh, saints that we're bringing into this are so solid about. Uh, how God's recipe for life instead of the one we make up on our own mm -hmm. and try to follow and leads us into the me mess of, uh, of moral relativism mm -hmm. that we're in now where everyone is making up their own Ten Commandments, you know. And in light of the, uh, the Synod, I mean, he even in the document uh, gives a reason why we can't ordain women. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's right there. That's uh, uh, it's in the film. The meaning of the uh, of the woman and the man as interdependent, and, and uh, uh, they are uh, they make one body, and uh, they're both equal, uh, but different. And uh, Christ came as a man. He was a man. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're just, not going to beat around the bush on that one. Yeah. You know, he chose yeah. male apostles. I mean. Mm -hmm. so. It's uh, yeah. The it's the whole discussion is insane. It's all there. It leads you right. the The moral life is uh, uh, is the way to. Uh, it reflects if you uh, the fa in the family the Trinity the mm -hmm. mother the father and the child and when you have that child the two others turn and uh, become more unselfish and more servant servant leaders of the child you know yeah. so it's really everything is right there even in the, our natural world you know all right well i'm sure it's 19 minutes till to the premiere yep. of the manifesto of faith so i'm here with hey. Stephen and richard payne and i'm sure you guys are going to go run gear. i'm going to watch it i'm going to be ready for it uh and, and see that see the final version everybody should go in 19 minutes to manifesto of faith dot com and uh, it'll begin running, and uh, it's it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful to see our faith depicted in, in such a. Uh, it's like it's like a. There's the Bible, and then there's the illuminated manuscript. This is the illuminated <laughs> manuscript of Cardinal Mueller's manifesto of faith, and and you guys did a great Hope job. So, so Thank um, you. we'll be praying for you, and and hopefully this is a big, a big success, and uh, it yeah. gets wide circulation, and, and people really really push it. And, and share it with yeah. with their family and their friends and with non Catholics and yes, everyone to get some clarity about theology. And we, uh, also on the website, if they want to see more f uh, films like this, and we have other ideas of doing uh, great texts uh, to clarify what we believe and uh, to cut through some of the confusion of the recent years, uh, please uh, please give. They can donate to. Uh, to the cause to make more films like this right on the yeah. website. And that's at uh, manifestoffaith.com as well. So. Yep. Manifestoffaith.com forward slash donate. Great. Great. Taylor, thank you for all that you're doing for the church. Uh, we really admire your work so much. I, I, I try to catch it every one of your shows that we can. And yeah. just, uh, it's really great work. And uh, you're, you, Taylor. You're, you know, there's no point in, uh, and responding to unasked questions. I love the way you take people seriously, their questions. And, and we love Tim, uh, right too, there. to tell him that, please. Uh, uh, he's we'll just, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right back at you. Thank you for all the work you're doing, and uh, I'm excited about this. And everybody go check out manifestooffaith.com. Premieres in okay. 17 minutes. So before we leave, I'm going to put up the, the Latin prayer card, and we'll pray a... Uh, a Hail Mary and a Glory Be, asking Our Lady to intercede for the film. 
And then a glory be just thanking God for all that he's done for us and, and guiding us. Thank you. Nomadi Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in morieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or Pernobis peccatoribus, nunc et or mortis nostre. Amen. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicuterat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. St. Bonaventure, pray, pray for, for us. us. St. Thomas Aquinas, pray, pray, for, pray us. for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody, Manifesto of Faith. Dot com Richard and Stephen, thanks for being with us. God bless. God bless thank you. Thank you. Thank you.